Howdy folks, welcome to Minecraft's latest snapshot, snapshot 20w16a. Now before the video begins, make sure to like this video because it does take a lot of work and make sure to comment on what you think they will add next and what you think of this snapshot. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because it helps me out tremendously when people do. I, I try to release this as often as I can and as quick as I can. So yeah, let's go ahead and begin. Now, as you might see here, you'll see that a new type of structure here. So this is one of the Bastion Remnants. This is pretty much a essentially a home sweet home for the piglins. Now, you'll find these kind of randomly scattered throughout the nether. I'm not sure what the actual percentage chance is, but I know it's kind of low. I I have it stumbled upon. I stumbled upon another one, and there are four variants of this type of uh, remnant. However, I believe the four, as we shall see here, include a few various things. Uh, actually, one of the new blocks. I wanted to cover that later. But um, yes, we have a new block, kind of. And this is the chain. So, yeah, we'll go over that shortly later. So. Now, if we just go ahead and search this place, you'll see that there are various new things. I think down here, actually, was, there was supposed to be a bridge, which is actually one of the variants of this type of thing. And up here, you'll see that there are the chests, and the chests contain a variety of different things. So, they contain mostly things related to gold. So, you'll find a lot of, like, spectral arrows, gold nuggets gold block not gold block sorry gold ingots and a bunch of like the gold armor such as the helmet the chest plate leggings and of course all of the boots so yeah it's very interesting because it is randomly generated i actually haven't been able to find any others beside this one right here so unfortunately I can't show that at the moment but if i find some soon i'll make sure to post a video on it and try to update this one. Oh, actually, we have a chest down here. I didn't even see this one. Two chests. Oh, well. So, yeah, they do spawn obsidian, iron nuggets, a piglin banner, which previously wasn't there, bone block, and a sword. And in this one, oh, wow. You actually get a variety of different things. This is actually one of the new music discs. I was like, I'm actually surprised we found it so quickly. Some chains. And, yeah, a bunch of other things. So, yeah. You can find these kind of randomly scattered around the nether. They are located, I believe, in every biome except except the, um, what's it called? The big chasm, the um, deltas. And at the top of the deltas, I think that's the only place where they can spawn because they are very treacherous. So, yeah. And another addition, which you'll see shortly, actually. Let's see if we can just head on over here. You'll notice that these little kind of ruined portals spawn now these are randomly generated throughout the world and they can spawn both not only in the overworld but as well as the i mean not just the nether but also the overworld so i found that quite interesting i'm curious to see how this will change like speed running in the game so if we just go ahead and yeah it kind of you'll see oh wow mending that's actually a great <laughs> that's a fantastic enchantment to have in it oh my god What's on the leggings, actually? On the... Ah, Crimson Binding. That's kind of garbage. Okay. Now. Come on, Mr. Gav. Don't ruin the video. Okay. Now, the other big thing. If we just head to the portal. Um, like I said, there are four various different types of um, kinds of structures you can find in all of the nether. And these pretty much include the bridge, the hoglin stable, housing unit, and treasure room. I think this is the treasure room down here. And I believe this is the bridge, as I mentioned earlier. Hoglin stable, I think it's somewhere over here. I don't know. I, it's, it's hard to make out the exact structures, but you can kind of see them there. And the housing units, for the most part, is pretty much the whole thing. So, yeah, I haven't been able to find another one beside this one. So, I think they are actually pretty rare. Now, if we just head through the nether portal in here. Now, we can actually begin by playing this new music. So, yeah. The new music disc is called the Lenorain Pigstep. I have not listened to it. So, let's make sure that my uh, music settings are on. They aren't. So, that's a good thing we checked. 
I just give you like a little quick few seconds to listen to it yourself. Too, honestly, I really like it. <laughs> I really like the. I will actually leave it playing in the background. Because why not? Oh my god, it's never that. Loud. That's loud. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and turn that off for the time being. Um. So yeah, that's the new music disc. Which actually, that's my first take on it, and I love it. I actually really like that they added a new, a new music disc to, to the game. It's been like forever since they've done that. But um, if we go on here, we'll see the new block, the chain link. And to make it, you just need a iron nugget, and, well, two iron nuggets, and iron ingot, and yeah, you just put them in this order, and there you go, you get a chain, a chain. So, um, unfortunately, you can't connect it through sides, which I wasn't expecting to, but it would have been kind of odd to look at it, to look at a chain fence or something like that, something of that sort, maybe they'll add it in the future, but for now, the only way you can use it is really kind of in a vertical aspect, just connecting through the top. So, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't have any, like, technical things to it. So you can't climb it, which I was hoping that you would. Because I was hoping they would add it, like, kind of the, the ladders, a ladder alternative. But it doesn't seem to be that way. Right now, there is no specific function to it aside from, like, a physical, like, actually looking nice. So now you can actually, like, connect your little lanterns or a few other things to make some nice little creations with this i think it'll be i th think it'll add some good good variety to the to the game and like i was saying earlier um if we head back into the here i haven't found one but the deltas become essentially more delta-y they're a bit more treacherous they spawn more um nether more lava pools and lava, lava blocks in general however if we just go ahead and slash kill that's fine um, we actually, I uh, will show you guys here shortly, right over here, yes. So, these, um, ruined nether, nether portals, uh, they actually spawn all over the world. So now you can actually find netherrack in the overworld, which is actually really interesting. Like, it's, it's crazy to see this, because it looks like something straight out of hell. Like, something majestic. <laughs> so this is all, like, randomly generated. I did not mess with it at all. And they seem to be not, I wouldn't say very common, but they spawn occasionally. They can spawn anywhere in the overworld. Now, they they have, oh wow, so touch. Oh, so that's a quick way to pretty much get a good enchantment on your stuff. And they spawn anywhere pretty much in the overworld. I don't, I, they can also spawn underground, I believe. And I believe there's one over here, but yeah, that's really the main changes with the new biomes. There's not really too many big changes but I thought they were it, it was enough to like actually incorporate in a video so that's why I made this video and if we just and actually just a few hundred blocks over to the north side you'll find a <laughs> woodland mansion which is actually like my first time actually finding one um, that's very interesting I've never actually seen one and down here you'll see pretty much another one of these um, ruined nether portals now like I was saying I think this is actually a fantastic way to pretty much um, help speedrunners, I'm curious to see how much the time of the beating the Minecraft will actually be shortened once this update rolls out. Because, wow, like just having a full out portal almost, and you, and you have like lava next to it, which pretty much guarantee you to get you in the nether within like the first few minutes. So, yeah, it, <laughs> it's interesting, like, wow. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this, um, this snapshot. There, there are a few minor bug changes that you will find in the, in the log, but if you want to check that out, link will be in the description as usual. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't, and comment on what you think about this update and what you think they'll add. But that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.